Hi everybody, this is Peter Tusik from Humanware coming at you with another snapshot tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the new and very much improved document preview. And we'll use this, especially when we have large documents that may have headings or links um, to make it far more navigable. The new document preview allows you to jump through and to specific places in your document that may be constructed in this way. So a lot of times we will use headings or places to quickly jump to certain parts of large documents. We're going to be looking at the document that Humanware has created on using the Brilliant BIX series with JAWS. So that's what we'll be using when we look at this. I am on the main menu and I am going to press the letter W to open and to get to keyword and open it up and we're going to look at this file. So I'm going to press W to move to the word processor. Word processor. Keyword. I'm going to press enter to open this up. Keyword. Create. Now we're in the keyword menu and I want to open my file and it's living in my downloads folder. So I'm going to press O to move to open and then press enter. Open. Okay, we're going to press enter. Open 2006. Now we are in key files and remember if we watch the video on navigation we know that to move to the proper folder we can press D with space to get to drive selection drive selection and then here we do have our locations sort of all of our drives available a nice thing is this document is in my downloads folder so I no longer have to open storage and then go find downloads it's actually pinned to drive selection here so I'm gonna press the letter D Documents. Downloads. So I press D twice and downloads is right here. So I can just press enter to open downloads. Keysoft underscore apps. And then I'm placed in my downloads folder. Now I'm going to press my space bar. Setting up and using Brilliant with JAWS screen reader dot docs. 12.28 p.m. And 600 and this is my file so it tells me when it was last looked at which is 12.28 p.m. and we see the size as well. I'm going to press enter here and open this up in keyword. Edit box, new line. Now, we can certainly look at this document here. Um, it's a very large document. We can use our standard keyword navigation that we always have in terms of going through this line by line or, you know, reading through this with our inner thumb keys or using speech and braille, whatever our navigation keys, they still work. Keyword is still keyword. However, what we've done is we've created a new way of looking at the document preview. And this will also make it far easier to print a document. To load the preview, it used to load in Drive PDF Viewer. We would press Enter with V to generate a visual preview. And we still do that. We're still generating a visual preview. But now instead of it loading as a PDF sort of preview of our Microsoft Word document, it's going to load it in a web view, which is very useful because we have web elements in this document. This document has a table of contents. It also has links to different sections in that table of contents, but it has headings and we can use those sorts of web elements to get to where we need to be. So I'm going to press enter with V as in visual, enter with V to generate the visual preview. Generating preview. Generating keyword. Preview slash print. So we hear that it says preview slash print. And at this point, I am placed into my document preview. There is a print button at the top, so I can find this print option and, and get into my print dialog, which is a saves me a bunch of steps from the old way. But what I can do is to enter the web view. The document is shown in a web view. I can press either five, six with enter or my right and next thumb key simultaneously. So I'm gonna press five, six with enter. Web view. And we hear that it says web view. And I am now placed at the top of my document in this preview mode. But think of this as being a read-only, very navigable document. Now, if I use my space bar or my, my next thumb key and kind of read down line by line. Contents. We hear that we're at, we have contents in the first piece. 1. Setting up Brilliant using JAWS 18-20. Link. We hear that the first item in this table of contents says setting up Brilliant using JAWS 18-20. And that's a link. So again, in the, on the Brilliant BIX series, there's different steps for using JAWS 18 to 20, or if you're using JAWS 2021 20, or above. If I press my next thumb key. Setting up Brilliant using JAWS 2021 and above. Link. We hear that that is also a link. So again, I'm, I'm able to use my next thumb key and come down. But if I press L, I will move to the next link in this document. Three. Pairing with Bluetooth. 
link and so on so let's find a link we want to click so i'm just going to press l again Four, and again five, and again six jaws command summary link and i think gosh that's what i want to go to the jaws command summary i want to be taken right to that section of the document if i press enter here and this is uh, number six in my table of contents i press enter here on the jaws command summary i will be taken right to this part of the document six jaws command summary heading one and we hear that it is also a heading level one and we'll get to that in a moment so this will very much reflect how we get around web pages you can use dots one through six to move through to heading levels one through six and so on if i press my next thumb key we're going to hear Below are the command summaries for the Brailleant to be used as a refreshable Braille display with JAWS. So it again, includes JAWS commands, Windows commands, reading and navigation commands. It brings me right to this part of the document, and I can use my next thumb key to read through this. If I want to jump forward to the next heading, let's just say I want to go to the, let's say the, the Windows sort of commands. If I press H, I will move forward to the next heading. 6.1 writing with your brilliant braille keyboard okay writing heading with your braille two. keyboard we hear that that's at heading level two i'm going to press h again 6.1.1 basic commands heading three and now again this document has been developed with heading levels so at heading level three here we've skipped over that writing with your braille keyboard and we hear that the basic commands are at heading three so if i press h again i'll go forward to the next heading 6.1.1.1 braille navigation heading four and again we have various heading levels here that will allow you to quickly jump to different parts of this document what i can do if i want to go back a heading i add backspace and enter to my command right so h for heading l for link um, and so on if i add backspace and enter i will go backwards so let's press backspace enter and h 6.1.1 basic commands heading three and that's where we then went back to 6.1.1 what I can also do if I know, so when I reopen this document next time, I'm going to come back to the top. So space with one, two, three to come to the top of my file here in this web view. Top web view. We hear it says web view. Now I want to jump right to the first heading level four, which we saw was our, our sort of basic navigation. If I press dot four, I will jump to the first heading level four, which in this document is. 6.1.1.1 Braille navigation heading four. And now I can use my next thumb key and read through this. Prior line. Outer left thumb, right. previous. And we hear that it's our outer left thumb key, also known as previous, in parentheses. Press my next thumb key or spacebar. Right parent. Pan braille left. Inner left thumb key, left. And so on. So again, we can quickly jump to different parts of this file using our web element sort of commands. And think of H, think of your dots, one through six on the braille keyboard, going to the appropriate heading level. Again, if your document has been designed uh, properly here. Certainly, if you have hyperlinks, they will be here, right? Any links will be activated. You can click them and go to wherever you may be. If I press L right now, no next link. There's no next link, right? If I press L with backspace and enter, I'll move to the previous link in the document. Pair with Bluetooth link, which is pair with Bluetooth, which is again part of my table of contents. So it just depends on how your document is set up, but you will be able to jump around. And if let's say there's links to websites or other places, you will be able to jump to those just as you would on a PC. So again, this is the new document preview. If I want to leave the web view, I can press my triangle web view and come out into the actual uh, above the web view where I have my print button. Print button. Right, which I can just press my previous thumb key to get to. And if I press enter here, I'll be taken right into the print dialog. You no longer have to open a context menu and select print and then select print again, do all these things. This will load the document right in the standard print dialog and if your printer is configured you'll be ready to print right from here if i want to get back into the actual editable document because again this web view this preview is not editable this is more about navigating large complex files if i press space with e or my triangle edit box new line i'm back in the document that i downloaded the editable version here where i can work with this as i would any keyword documents you can make edits and do different things again a quick preview of what we have now when you press enter with v to activate the document preview now being rendered as a web view for quick, easy, and consistent navigation. Hope this was helpful. We really are glad to have brought all these new features to Keysoft, and we know that it was all thanks to lots of suggestions we have received over the past several months. So please keep them coming, and we will be back with more Snapshot Tutorial videos. Thanks, everybody.